Okay, Martin here with Anthony McCormack, the uh, of Max staff. Um, and you just invested in a new software called Hinterview. Um, just give us a very brief outline of, of what that is and why it's beneficial for the company. Yeah, sure. So um, I've wanted to use um, Hinterview um, or Interview software for a while now, just because it gives a fuller um, picture of the candidate. Um, you know, I want to be able to. Um, you know, showcase a candidate's uh, communication and presentation skills, ideally, when I'm um, promoting them to a client, and likewise from a client point of view, um, to be able to provide that fuller picture um, in terms of, you know, the, client, the candidate's character and, uh, and communications is, is, um, is a good value add. It allows, you know, um, proper assessment of it if somebody's going to be a culture fit for the organisation. Just give me a little bit of run through as well about the processes involved in this from a client perspective who has a new post become available and ask you to control that process. Um, 30 people apply, what's the process from there on in? Okay, so yeah, um, it's, it mirrors um, a traditional recruitment process in that um, you know, I'm going to be sourcing for candidates, sometimes by job posting, sometimes by you know, my own research and, um, and headhunting. Um, we'll get you know what sometimes can be in excess of 100 um, you know candidates to assess you know looking on a proper analysis of maybe 50 CVs narrowing that down to um, you know 20 that we might start actually um, having some screening calls with and you know identify the, the best five to ten candidates from there do a more detailed um, telephone or in this case video interview and um, and promote a, a short list of three to five typically for the for the clients and um, so. Um, whatever questions that they normally ask, we can, um, you know, certainly field those on behalf of the clients, and essentially they can go to final interview stage with, um, you know, with the preferred candidate. Okay, so I guess I guess what's involved in this is there must be a huge amount of trust between you and Max staff from, uh, from a client's perspective. Um, but where do, where do you think you can benefit from that as a company? Yeah, that's good. I mean, we do like to um, have good relationships, of course, with clients and um, foster long-term relationships. And, you know, we, we are in that kind of trusted advisor position for um, a number of clients and, and just looking to, um, you know, keep that going, basically. We um, like to um, act, you know, as, as essentially the internal recruitment or HR function um, for SME clients anyway. Um, so, yeah, working very much hand in glove, um, you know, privy to, privy to sensitive information and um, I've been in recruitment over over 20 years and, uh, and um, you know, stand by my reputation and, and obviously, you know, we um, work long and hard to um, to build up that trust and uh, and certainly that's something that we'd be uh, keen to, keep, you know, keep going and look after. Uh, presumably the results that you can give to a client could be just as fast as the, the normal regular process. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, um, it's um, it, really it's um, just a better process. It allows um, you know fuller picture, but um, in terms of efficiency, um, all the uh, all, all the uh, the hiring company needs to do is uh, you know agree agree what questions um, to ask, and I normally I normally provide a, a draft of those questions anyway, um, and then they uh, stand by for a, a, a short list of qualified candidates, um, and and can then view at their leisure. Um, split screen like this, um, yeah. candidates, CV, um, and uh, responses to uh, you know a few interview questions. So we tend to do that as a 10 to 15 minute snapshot. So you know you can sit down and review four or five candidates you know within an hour, and that's massively more efficient than a typical uh, recruitment process. Total win win. Yeah, presumably that's going to go down extremely well to certain clients because in the past they might have had to block out a full day to interview uh, their quite toxic clients for a position, but now they're going to be able to just sit down whenever they want to, uh, even uh, on the train or wherever, even at home, at home and review the videos and put through to them. Yeah, I mean, worst case scenario, um, they can get that first impression that everybody talks about and then just kind of fast forward to the next candidate. Um, you know, I'd, I'd argue that we do do better than that, and um, and can, as as I mentioned, undertake a whole um, first interview on the uh, on the client's behalf and allow them to, um, in turn, fast forward right to uh, right to the final interview stage. Um, you know, and just and just make a, an offer. And the same for the clients to get out of this process, isn't it? As opposed to just sending a list of uh, questions through to somebody to interview on a, a you know a, a talking head video, because there is that interaction. That's the sort of thing that. Clients will be looking for because we all know how important that is to hire a body but hire a person for a while. They can definitely um, you know, start 
to build that that fuller picture of, of the candidates and how they would uh, you know indeed fit in and interact with uh, with them and their team. COVID has made many comments that the way they uh, certainly the future is one of those. So, uh, is this also uh, a lesson to give an interview with the uh, why on the future? Yeah, hundred um, percent. You know, in, uh, recruitment is is still going on, and, and arrangements have uh, have had to be made quickly um, in some cases to you know to allow the the wheels to keep turning. Um, some companies are you know are, are put recruitment on hold, and you know some others burying their head in the sand. But um, I would definitely say that the forward thinking companies that have um, found you know a workaround and a new normal, as it were, um, will be um, the ones that aren't flat footed. Um, come the up, upswing, and um, you know they're they're winning the war for talent. Um, you know while uh, you know while some other companies to carry on the metaphor, not even on the pitch. Yeah, sure. And what's um, this been going on? You've only uh, created a new international global arm of the company called Bank Play. Tell us a little bit about your decisions and thoughts behind that. Yeah, so this uh, this dovetails nicely. Um, we've um, been in partnership with NPA worldwide um, for over a year now um, that's uh, the international version of team standing for the inter uh, the uh, employment agents movement and um, yeah um, we just wanted to recognize the, the kind of difference um, and and brand it separately essentially so mosaic is the um, international arm of, of max staff uh, in partnership with NPA um, and we've got um, jobs and place candidates uh, internationally. Um, in association with the 500 plus um, partner members of NPA, and some of those um, companies and members are, are, you know, the best independent recruitment so companies worldwide. So uh, yeah, I'm proud to partner, and we've got some interesting opportunities for uh, for candidates uh, coming up through that. Okay, fantastic, Anthony. Thanks as ever. We wish you all the very best of luck. Thanks for your time. No worries. Thanks, Ryan.